Hi, I'm Alistair from Murrayfield, and this is how your new Murrayfield tunnel house would arrive. It's a three-part kit set package with all your hoops, timbers, and the box with all the covering, door, and everything required. This is a five-meter tunnel house. Inside the box here, we have a component list. Be the first thing that tells us all the bits and pieces that are in this box. And it also tells you the, what hoops and what bits and pieces you've got to build the rest. So in here we have our roof vent, lid and base, pegs to peg it down, corner blocks, and most importantly there's a bag with all the parts and bits and the instructions on how to put it together. Underneath here we have a purpose made greenhouse cover for the 5 metre model, which is probably the most important part of the whole package. Underneath that there's the window and the door which are already made finished with the plastic fitted in them ready to fit on the tunnel house. Right this is the corner of the greenhouse there's two four inch nails get driven through the end of the timber and into the side timber. Once they are in place, there's a, a, a nail plate wrapped around the corner to tie the whole thing together and then there's a, a 90 degree corner block there to help give us the square. Right, we screw these black bushes in and they're for the round tube purlins and they should be facing each other when you nail it together. These braces will be also be on the inside of the greenhouse. There's eight of these black bushes, four at each end. The hoops just drop into pre-drilled holes and up here and there'll be this bay here has the roof bend in it and these holes need to face each other for the roof bend to uh, fit into. We supply 600 mil long pegs which get driven into the ground with a sledgehammer uh, with just 100 mil sticking out of the ground and then the 3 inch nails are supplied to nail the peg to the base. On a greenhouse this long, we've supplied four pegs to go down each side. Roll the cover out, watching for any sharp bits, sharp stones or anything, nice and close to the greenhouse. And at each end, there'll be a corner. And these corners, uh, it's a purpose made cover, these corners will slip over and line up with the corresponding corners on the greenhouse. Prior to putting the cover on, you want to make sure you're all organised. Uh, we've got the vent sitting in here under the four stainless bolts and it comes separates into the lid and the frame. Our round purlin tubes, they just lay in the bottom of the tunnel house until the cover's on. Uh, we've laid out the, the wooden strips all ready to fit to, into the pockets on the cover and we've got our cover all laid out ready to go. Grabbing it by the corners, we just two of us just slip it over together. really important to we line these corners up now these battens slide into purpose-made pockets that have been welded into the cover they just slip inside there's a batten the right length for the back you could do that first yep. then the long battens run down each side and in some instances in the longer models there will be two battens on each side. At this stage we use the 50mm supplied nails in the kit set, drive them into the batten. Now the batten only wants, the top of the batten needs to be about 5 to 10 millimetres below the top of the 4 2 And at this point we just tack it, leaving that nail proud so that we can get to it if we do need to retension or change it. Front battens are different than all the rest. All the rest are nailed on the outside as such, but because this door track's here, they need to be placed on top. 
So we make a small cut with a craft knife in line with this but below the weld and then cut back towards the centre of the door. That allows that batten to go up on top of the track. And then we do the same on this side, cut on the edge below the weld and then in towards the middle of the greenhouse just a little bit. Then we need to get inside of course, so well down from the door head we just do an incision straight down big enough to clamber in. So the front battens what we do here is we just roll the plastic and we get it reasonably firm and just tack the middle one. So what we do at this stage is just give the, give the cover a bit of a push up before we put the purlins in. So these round purlin tubes just slip over the black bushes. We've just got to be careful not to catch the cover and then at the other end we bow it in and it fit it on the other side. There'll be a great big bend in them at this stage but don't be alarmed that's part of it, how we get it tight. Put them on two bottom ones first. We've supplied 25 millimeter wood techs, and I've got a, a eight millimeter bit in this tech gun. Just push the arches over till they line up. If you don't have a tech gun, you can use a small crescent or we an 8mm socket will do exactly the same job. So with the top purlins, there's quite a bow in them, but as we force them up, that's what tightens the greenhouse for us. Before we put this last screw in, this is where the vent gets fitted. So we've already taken their frame apart from the lid, the cover that's fixed with your tech screw. Those uh, pins line up in the pre-drilled holes, push this arch out of the way, pull it back together and it locks the vent in place. And at this point I can put my last tech screw in. And that vent will be stuck in there. So hopefully it covers all nice and tight now and it's looking really good and sharp. Um, if it wasn't as tight as you'd like, we've left these nails proud. We can pull them out, tension down a bit further. So we want to cut a, a hole out for our vent. Starting at the corner, we come in, make a little triangle, do the same at each end. Then just join the two triangles together down the middle. And this is the important, there's a hinge here. We just need to do a little L-shaped incision is, is what I do. And then it allows it to get past the hinge. We supply a white clip, which easily clips the cover to the opening. So the sides, the clip is on the outside, and we do that because it gets extra hold at that point. It's just a matter of pulling the tail, and with your thumb, working your way along, getting it firm. And then we just push the tail up under there, and if this clip ever came off for any reason, we've got some plastic to hang on to to put it back on. The roof vent has got a protective coating on the top, which we remove. The long handle goes where the vent hinge is in from the end. We carefully poke the vent up through the roof, turn it, and drop it into place. This four, the four stainless bolts from before go through. With nylock nuts on the inside. Always be careful if it is windy not to leave this roof vent sitting here without le at least getting one bolt in it so the lid doesn't blow off. You can open it 
Yep. If that makes it easier to fit. We make an incision starting at the top corner and coming down so we've got a, a top flap and then we just cut all the way down at the bottom to allow us access. So that the capping is already fitted on the frame when the greenhouse arrives. We just pull a bit of tension around the corner, forcing it on, work our way down. The good thing about this capping is that once it's forced on, if you're not happy with it and you want to have another go, you can remove the capping, have another go and it hasn't damaged the film. So fitting the top door track, there's two stainless bolts. The, the longest of the two goes through the, the hole at the in the back at the top and the plastic washer goes on the inside. It goes through the hole in the frame like so. The shorter of the two bolts then goes through the front. Once the door track's on, we take the uh, screw out of the back of the door track. One wheel goes into the track, line up the bottom, second wheel into the track, and it's easy operation. So fitting the window, open the window friction stays slightly, put the window through the opening, put one window stay on the inside and the other window stay on the inside. And then you can use that to lock it into place while we put the screws. There's little 10 mil screws are supplied in the uh, kit set bag. Line those holes up and screw them home. With the assembly completed, it's now ready to move into position over the garden. And the beauty of these tunnel houses is they really like to move around. We built the tunnel house out on the lawn for nice easy access and it was nice and flat but you can build it in place as long as you've got good access right around it and then that saves you having to move it. I'd suggest that we drive these pegs in without the cover on but it is possible to drive them in carefully avoiding the cover.